Hello, everyone. Um, first of all, before we uh, dive into the show, if you can hear me loud and clear, please do let me know in the comments box. Right. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in again on our show where we do some uh, live reviews. This is where I get to uh, go through uh, some submitted websites and talk about them and uh, see if, we, if I can provide any tips to improve those websites. Right, so I can see quite a lot of you have already tuned in. This is fantastic. I'm just going to make sure everything is working okay. Okay, looks like everything is loud and clear. Fantastic, fantastic. Right, so how's everyone doing? <laughs> it's good to see you all. Right, um, I see we have quite a lot of people here joining in already. This is fantastic. Right, so... Um, Saturday. Let's talk about Saturday. Um, as promised on Saturday, I mean, I was um, meant to have a live show, but something really terrible happened. And uh, this actually really shook me because I was here on Saturday, just about to hit the record button. And uh, my son calls me and uh, he says, dad, mom is not responding. She just um, collapsed and she can't breathe properly. So at first, I couldn't believe it. So I just said to my son, well, you know what? Why don't you just tell her to uh, take deep breaths and, you know, she'll be fine. So what happened is I just said to myself, now, I just need to go live. You know, I'm really excited about this. I planned everything. And within five minutes, my son calls again and says, dad, mom is not responding. So that's when I realized that this was actually really, really um, a bad situation. So I told my son, to call the ambulance straight away. So uh, when my son called the ambulance, I just decided to just leave everything and um, just drove home. And to be honest, I don't even know and I don't even remember till today how I even got home because that's how shaken I was. I was traumatized. It was really, really terrible. And in my head, I was just thinking, wow, you know, what if she just dies, you know, before I even like, you know, say goodbye. That's, you know, it was that bad. Because, you know, when you hear um, the kids screaming and saying, mom is not responding, dad, what should we do? You know, all those things, all those emotions were just going through me. And that's why I couldn't remember my journey home. But, um, you know, it took me about uh, 20 minutes to, to get home and the ambulance was there and she was in the ambulance. And when I looked at her, she was, you know, she had started breathing because they had all these, uh, you know, wires all over her. It was just a terrible sight. And so when she started breathing, she couldn't say anything when she was just looking at me. And that's when I just, you know, felt really, really emotional. So I started talking to the uh, ambulance staff saying, you know, what is the problem? Do you think, you know, uh, or how bad is it? Is, is there any damage that has happened? What's going on? So uh, later on, when I calmed down, they explained to me that it's called SVT. I can't really pronounce the word. It's like a big um, uh, word, but uh, it's when the heart rate beats at um, a higher than normal rate. So our heart rate is normally between uh, 60 and, and, and 90 or 60 and 100, but her heart rate was close to 300. I mean, imagine 300. So it was shocking. I've never heard of this, you know. I, I mean, so it was just a great shock to me. So she's fine now and uh, everything is normal. So we're just monitoring just to make sure that uh, everything is okay with her. But uh, that is what happened on Saturday. And I'm really sorry for not showing up, but uh, this is the main reason. Okay, guys, let's start with the show. Um, I have uh, some, a few websites lined up, so it's going to be quite interesting. So I'm just going to read some comments here and see and hear what people, have, uh, what people are saying. Okay, so it seems like everyone can hear me loud and clear. Increase volume, please. Okay, I will increase my volume. Uh, hopefully, this is better now. Right, okay. I hope this is better now. Fantastic. Right, so the first website I'm going to take a look at today is uh, was uh, submitted by Sean. And by the way, if you want to submit your website for review, please do so. I've uh, included a link in the show notes below. So you can just uh, fill in that form and I'll add it to the list. And the websites I'm reviewing, I'm reviewing, I'm reviewing them in the order 
they were sent. So if you've sent a, a review, um, a website for review, please do bear with me because I'm just doing like uh, three or four websites every show and I will get to those websites. So please be patient. And um, today's episode is uh, brought to you by uh, divicake.com. So check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that as well is in the description below. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I am going to uh, switch over here to my site and uh, let us do the reviews. So the first website here was uh, submitted by Sean. Right, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, my first impression here is this is brilliant. I really like the, uh, the simplicity. We have a lot of white space over here, which is great. And over here, we have a nice... Uh, uh, image here and it also gives us an idea of what it is so this is a web design we develop websites i mean you can see this in the picture as well so that is great so the picture is actually communicating the message so that's a very good job now i'm going to uh, point out uh, some uh, things you, you may find them like uh, unnecessary or they are very minor but th these little touches that I'm going to go through are actually very important in design because those small changes can make a, can make a big you know, uh, impression or a big change. So here, if we look at this text here, saying, uh, which says, we develop websites, you can, and also passion, dedication, uh, lots of coffee. Right, really cool. But now, if you look at this text here, it's actually um, in the way of what we have in the background. So it's not very easy to read. It's not a big, uh, big problem, but as you can see, you know, it's really clashing with the background. So it's slightly difficult to read. So I, I may want to improve that and just uh, make sure that this is sorted out. Other than that, this is fine on the main um, header area. Great. Now, moving on. I really like uh, what is happening here on the services. However, I'm not a big fan of the gradients. The gradients don't really work here. I mean, I would actually choose colors from the palette. Uh, and make it really playful on there. And these could be solid colors. Uh, if I had time, I could try and mock that area in my own website and just show you what I mean by that. But the, um, the gradients are not really working and that has really taken away um, that authentic, you know, sort of design. It's sort of like taking it a step back, if you know what I mean. And also, these are not the same size. So you may want to go into uh, Divi and make sure that you select Equalize column height in the row settings but here you can see that uh, these are not the same and that's you know a bit of a problem there so that needs to be fixed and this needs to be solid colors right moving on i mean this is perfect you know it's fine everything uh, looks okay and then over here uh, what i'll actually do because uh, on what we do here on that section we have uh, white and also uh, these uh, descriptions here, that's fine. But when it comes to this section here, I would actually have a different color background just to separate, you know, the, uh, the content because it, it, now it's become like it's too much white. So that's all I'll do here. I would add a background color here to just separate the, um, the sections. And over here as well, I can see we have a video. Now, uh, the most important thing when it comes to videos here is to add an overlay image because the thumbnail that comes with YouTube doesn't really look, you know, uh, doesn't really look nice. So I would actually use a thumbnail that, I mean, you create as an overlay image. So that is very, very important. Okay. Um, other than that, this is fine. And moving on, a recent work. I think a better job could have been done here by adding a gallery where a gallery of actual like thumbnails of the websites, nice and big where, you know, you know, they can actually click those images right now. They are faded. Uh, they're too tiny. You can't really make out what this is. So I would really make a uh, gallery which really stands out or maybe even try and be a, a bit more creative and actually add no spacing between those images by reducing the gutter width. So that's what I would do here because this does not really look, you know, um, that that professional okay and moving on here again we can see we have a gradient here again that gradient you know doesn't really work in this case and also um, the color that you've used here with a gradient doesn't really look nice 
So that's something that I would change. And if you're going to go with a dark color here, you need to make sure that your button here really stands out. And also the text that you have here is also black. It's very close to, you know, the gray that you have here. So that doesn't really work. And over here, let's work together. There's nothing there visually that really, that's really telling us uh, that is the working together sort of thing. So what I would do in that, uh, in that case is I would find an image which has maybe a group of people uh, consulting or something along those lines, which actually, you know, goes along with the word that, I mean, the, um, uh, the sentence that you've just added there, let's work together. So the visual has to work with the image. In this case, there is really nothing here that is showing that there is a, a, a sense of working together, if you know what I mean. So I would use the right images for, for this area. And also here on the testimonials, uh, I'm not sure if this is, be, if this is being pulled from um, some sort of an application. So what I'll do here is I'll really make this stand out. There's a um, module in Divi, which uh, is a testimonial module. I would actually use that instead of this because it's too tiny. It really needs to stand out and uh, it really needs to uh, communicate that these are testimonials because right now it's way too small. Okay, um, if you have anything to add to what I'm saying, please do so in the comments box. I will occasionally go back and check the comments. In fact, let me check the comments now and uh, see if there's uh, anything that needs addressing. Okay. Um. Right, when scrolling is difficult to see the menu, I'm going to take a look at that as well uh, because I hadn't checked the scrolling. So this is a comment that we have on our uh, on the uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to take a look at that and see. Okay, so let's address that. This is why it's brilliant, you know, uh, to have uh, to have you help me review this because there's certain things that you can see that I don't see. So that's actually a very good point. So before I move away from this page, let us talk about the, uh, the menu. All right. So when you take a look as well here at, uh, the menu area, I think it's best to have a dark image or a gradient where this text here on the, uh, header area is visible. It's easier to read. It needs to be, um, because that's the navigation, remember, this is where people are going to be clicking to find where to go. So right now, again, it's sort of like blending into the image that we have in the background. So the best way to present this is to have a gradient, and this can be done in Divi as well. Add a gradient to that image so that if you're going to have a transparent header, it's nice and uh, it stands out. And if we're going to go uh, that way, this logo here needs to be turned into a white logo on a darker background, okay? So that's how the logo would really, really stand out. And also in this case, I don't know if it's preference, but I would have this logo on the left and uh, have the text, you know, on the right. And also uh, this text that we have here, uh, the name and the phone number and the Facebook icons, I would center those and just make sure everything is in line. So make, uh, just to balance that header area. So that is really, really important, okay? Right, so uh, that's all I'll do here on the top. So let's take a look at some of the inside pages. So if I come over here to uh, services, let's take a look at the layout as well and see what that looks like. Right, again, uh, what really stands out here is the fact that the header area, as I mentioned uh, a few moments ago, uh, needs to uh, be addressed. Now, the image that we have here, I can't make out what this is. So this is where you want to have images that really sort of like communicate what's on the page. So for example, services, I would have maybe people in the office 
and have that image as the main image here and also add your fade if you really have to have that fade. Now, if I take a look here at the fade, oh, that's another problem. Before I talk about the, um, the next uh, thing, I'm just going to go back here to the home page. Right, so if I scroll up here, you see that the navigation is pretty much um, difficult now to see. And it doesn't look like it's well put together. So I would go into the theme options of Divi and uh, address that because it's affecting all the pages. So I tried to do that on the services page. So I'm just going to go back, back on the services page so you can see what I mean. So if I start scrolling here, you can see everything disappears into the menu area. You want to make sure that that menu stays stays on. There are uh, ways of setting your scroll your scroll options to have a solid color when 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 you start scrolling. So that's what I would do in this case. Right. So here again, you've used this um, gradient. It's not really working on the first one here because now the text is difficult to read over here on the bottom. And like I said uh, earlier on. I would totally get rid of um, these gradients. They don't really look well. They don't, they don't really look nice. And also here, you want to make sure everything is the same size. Okay, so make sure you equalize column height. And I would even have a light gray background. I mean, a light gray um, border and not have a color at all uh, when it comes to the background of um, these services. Okay, so moving on. Uh, this area is fine. There we go. So this is what I'm trying to say. Uh, work with the team of Talented Design Ninjas. The image, yes, it's very close. But now, here's the thing with images. What you've done here, you've got an image. But uh, I don't know if it's a small image that has been stretched or um, made bigger. The quality of the image does not look right. So it just makes the whole project not look... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um professional okay so you need to have sharp well uh, sharp images that look great because right now with this faded image it just looks like it's very amateurish okay because one thing you have to remember when you design websites is your website is actually selling on your behalf so if you have an image like this or you have a website that's not being put together i'm not saying this website is not good by the way this is just a statement that i'm just saying that your website communicates more about you or your business. So whatever you're going to put on your website needs to be presentable. It needs to look really, really nice in terms of the images, the layout, the, the text, and all that good stuff. So it's important to have that because that reflects on yourself or your company. So if someone comes to your website and let's say you don't have like good images or your design doesn't look great, it's less believable. I mean, your services or what you're trying to sell is less believable. So this is why it's important to make sure that you use images and you use everything that's, you know, uh, in its um, uh, way to make it look professional. So I would change this image, but the idea here is very good. And also this part here, work with a team of uh, talented ninjas, I would actually center this. Okay, so if you center it, then the page or that section looks balanced because it looks like information is missing here on the bottom. So I would just center that and just change this image and that looks perfect. Right, great. Now I like what has happened here because you've separated now these sections using the color. So this is brilliant. So this is what you want to do uh, when you differentiate your sections. Add a color or just something that shows that this is different information rather than have a page which is just way too uh, white or or has the same color. Okay, so moving on here. Uh, this image here is fine. But again, our text here, which says our latest projects, it's white on a light background. So that's where, again, I'll talk about contrast. You want to make sure that the text that you have on your page actually works with what you have in the background. So every time you have a white, uh, light background, make sure you've got dark text. When you have a dark background, make sure you have light text. So contrast is very important in this case. Okay, so moving on. Again, I spoke about this already. I mean, the bottom part as well. Okay, great. Uh, let's move on to the portfolio now, and let's take a look at that. Right. Now, again, here, 
the way the portfolio is put together, I would actually have a grid, have a grid. So we can see all the different projects. And uh, there's also a um, gallery that you can use in um, a gallery module, module that you can use where you can separate your websites by project. So you can actually click and show the project that you're working on. The way you've done it here is, I mean, it could be improved. Let me put it that way. Okay. Right. Let's move on to the pricing page. Okay. The pricing page here, to be honest, I like it. You've used color uh, to differentiate uh, what you have on the page. But the one thing that I've uh, picked up here is your colors throughout your whole website are not consistent. I'm not sure if you're using a color palette, but uh, I would suspect that you don't have a color palette that you're working off of because I'm seeing different colors and it's becoming more of a rainbow website. Um, so I would use colors from a color palette and use colors that are close together uh, in the um, color in the color management tool that we have in Divi. So I would do that and make it look good. But I'm not referring to this. This looks nice the way these colors are. But overall, I've seen other different colors, you know, throughout the site, which I think are not really following a color palette. So I'll take a look at that. But what you've done here is brilliant. I like how you've differentiated them. And also the orders, I mean, the size uh, is also communicating that these are different things. The bigger the item is, the more features you get with it. So that is brilliant. I like that. Okay. So, in fact, these are the colors that I'm talking about. Sorry about that. I had my uh, <laughs> main camera angle uh, facing you guys. Okay, so yes, so the color area here is brilliant. So, as I mentioned, I can see that this is a global uh, module. So, I would just go and just change that quickly because that's the beauty of using global, uh, global modules. You can just go in, make a change, and it'll make a change throughout the whole website. Okay, but this here is brilliant. I like the way it's done and the way the colors are put together. Right, let's move on to the blog. Okay, no results found. Right, so this is another thing. If you have a blog or you have a page which doesn't have any information, I'm not sure if this website is now live to your audience or you're just, uh, you just put it live for me to see. But don't, it's not a good idea to add pages that don't have content on them. So... I would take down this page until you have all your information that you need for this page. Okay. Right. So finally, the contact page. Right. Again, this contact page. Um, you've got the headphones there. That does not suggest contact or um, uh, getting in touch with someone. That's more like, a, you know, like a music or download a music track or whatever that's where you'd use those headphones or some or to communicate something else other than the contacting us so i would get rid of this image and the gradient that you have here is not really working here i would in fact what you've done here in fact i'll go back here to the blog page because you have a form that i saw you see now this what you have right here if you could have this on the contact page that would be perfect so that's what i would do i would have this on the contact page rather than have uh, what you've done here with this gradient. Even the form, you can't really see the form fields. So this doesn't really work for the contact page. Okay, so pretty much this is what I have to say for Sean, but uh, all in all, good efforts. Uh, those few little things, uh, uh, I would suggest you go and uh, make some changes too because they need to be addressed to really make your website look much, much better. Okay. So I'm going to take a quick look here at um, our comments and see if there's anything that uh, needs to be added. Okay, right. Right, so let's move on to the next website. The website, the next website I have is from Karen. So let's switch over here and take a look. Now, um, by the way, um, if you have uh, any comments to say uh, uh, regarding these uh, 
uh, reviews, please do add that in the comments box below. And by the way, before I forget, uh, this episode is brought to you by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so the next site, as I mentioned, is uh, was submitted by Karen. So this is a dental surgery. So let's take a look at this. Right, so <laughs> first impression is I really like this. As soon as you get to the website, you can tell what website it is. And that is very, very important. So let's start going through what we have here. Now, on the top here, I think you're missing information because this is a secondary menu. And I think you wanted to add a phone number or a, an email address. So I think that information is missing here because all we have are the social media icons. Right. So, oh, yeah, something is happening here with this main uh, menu area because this information here is meant to be on the top, I think. But anyway, um, I would go and fix that because this is, yeah, this doesn't look... I mean, the navigation area uh, needs to be clear and concise. When people get there, they need to know what they're clicking on, and there shouldn't be too much information on the top. And by the way, <laughs> this website is uh, from uh, Birmingham, my area where I am, and I actually know this area here, Acox Green, so it's fantastic. Thank you very much, Karen, for um, submitting your website. Appreciate it. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, I would have this information here on the top, on the secondary menu, and then... Uh, this navigation area will be nice and um, easier to follow. And what you also need to do is on the top here on the secondary menu, just change the color a bit. Maybe have a darker version of this color. Now, moving on, what you've done here with the images, I think is brilliant. I like the way that uh, we can tell that this is something to do with uh, dentistry or with um, teeth whitening, as we can see here on the slider. That is brilliant. Uh, the one thing that I would tweak here is I would just make sure that um, the height of this area here is slightly increased so we can ten so we can see a bit more of what you have here because you can see the eyes are cut off, uh, the mouth is cut off as well. So we need to see more of what we have in this slider area. Okay. So again, uh, the uh, the uh, main face is cut off. So I would fix that. Now, this is a beautiful picture, but as you can see, uh, the guy's face here is cut off. We can't really see. But again, you want to make sure that um, we get to see more of that image because that's what's selling your, your services. So that image is very, very important. Now, there's something also that I noticed here when I come to this page. You have a... Um, uh, you, you added a color on this image, like a blend. Now, this color here does not really work because it's making everything really cold, right? You wanna, uh, when it comes to this, you wanna make sure that uh, it's, it's lively, it's, it's vibrant, it looks beautiful. So that's why that blue is just made everything cold. So I would actually shift that and make it even more uh, warmer. So I would use the, the, uh, the images in the original state or make them even warmer. So that makes, that changes the mood. So right now when I got here, it was like a bit dull. It's not because the design is bad, it's because of the color that you've added there. You wanna make sure that the color you're using is uh, the natural image and not add a blend that takes away that goodness. So that's what I would do here. In fact, let me show you what I mean. Uh, if I come here to the bottom, do you see how you have these images that you have here, right? Especially this one here on, uh, on the right. That one here, that one is warm and it just changes the whole um, mood of, you know, what we're seeing here. So imagine if you had um, what you have here on this image, nice and warm, and it's up here in the slider. That will change that dramatically. So I would change that over here, okay? 
And uh, I like the way you've actually uh, labeled these so uh, we know exactly what it is, uh, what is happening here on the slider with the way that you've uh, uh, labeled these, each and every one of these images. So that is really, really good. I like that because design is about communication. If I can't see what uh, is being communicated on the page, then it's difficult, you know, to try and work out what the page is about. But this, in terms of communicating, it is working. So that's great, Karen. Okay, moving on. Uh, over here, I know it's a small thing, but I would actually add more padding and just make sure that the Village Dental, Dental Surgery has a bit more breathing space here on this section. And also, the text that you've used here, I would uh, add a bit of line height to add a bit more um, space between um, the lines, just to make it easier to read. And uh, for some reason, you've made it bold. I'm not sure if um, you really want that to stand out, but, you know, it's fine. You know, you can read it easily. That's okay. And over here as well, you want to make sure that you add a bit of line height because, again, the text is just way too compressed. Great. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. Right. So this part here, and this is just me uh, going the extra mile. I know this information here communicates. New patients are welcome. Uh, we welcome all new patients, whether you register NHS or private. I like that. But you can make the, um, uh, improve this by adding a section where you have maybe a picture of maybe people coming to your uh, dental practice and then have this uh, message here. On the right so let's say you have uh, a section which has two columns you have a picture here on the left you know of uh, you know happy people coming to the to the uh, dental surgery and then on the right you have this information now new patients welcome uh, we welcome uh, blah 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 and then your call to action okay so that would actually communicate even better so that's just what something that you can do to improve this part right here i've noticed also noticed something here on the on your button uh, I would go in and add some padding to it because as you can see your arrow here is not in the actual button I don't know if you can see this on the video. Okay, so I would just quickly go in and fix that button Okay, and also I noticed that uh, we don't have a complementary color This would work really nice if you had some sort of a an orangey color so your call to action buttons can be like orange uh, or even the um, the page titles here it's too, it's way too much of a single color throughout the whole design. So you just want to add a bit of color to it just to balance the design a bit. Again here on uh, this slider, I would actually add a bit more padding here because everything is just way too, uh, it's like it's suffocated. It needs some breathing space. So you want to add padding on the top, padding on the bottom. I mean, the sides are fine. But you want to make sure that you just add that little bit of uh, touch to this section. And also, uh, with the text, uh, I'm not sure if this is from... Uh, in fact, yeah, the text is fine. I will just add uh, padding. And it looks like these are testimonials. Yes, they are. So with testimonials, uh, here's one quick tip. Try and get the image to go with the testimonial as well, because that makes it even more believable, okay? And it's, 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 uh, it's, it's attractive, because once you see it, you want to read more about it. Because right now, um, I, I actually was <laughs> guessing, uh, because I wasn't sure what this information was. So with the testimonial, just add like quote marks, or add an image, because that just makes it easier for people to know that it's a testimonial. Because when I first came here, I didn't even realize it was a testimonial. And again, as I mentioned with the color, I would change this color and uh, just work with a color that Divi suggests from the color palette. Okay, uh, inside our surgery. Right, this is very, very good because people tend to see what is in the surgery before they actually visit it. Okay, but how uh, the one way you can improve this is by making these images even bigger. Okay, so they're slightly smaller now and they're not clickable. Right? I would have these images nice and big and um, I would suggest using the gallery module so when you click on the image it actually expands it becomes nice and big so we can see more of the space because remember you're selling your service here so you want to be as transparent as as, as you can 
because like right now, I mean, I can see it looks beautiful inside, but you can make it even look better by just making those images nice and big. And I would even go into Photoshop and um, uh, make sure they're all well cropped and remove any objects that you want to remove just to make sure that you're presenting the best image of your practice. Okay, now moving on here. Now this is where I would uh, separate this content here uh, by adding a color to the section. That's very, very important because this information you're showing here is great. And I like the way um, the thumbnails are because it's all about teeth. So if I click here, let me see what happens. Okay, good. Okay, I like, I like how it is. This is brilliant. But all I would do in this case is just add a color that distinguishes this area here with the next area that we have here on the bottom. Okay. Uh, special offers. Again, I would uh, make this really stand out because it's like it's hiding. <laughs> so maybe uh, again, create a section which is nice and big and have an image that goes with it and then have your nice and big text special offers and then the button to click to go to, you know, whatever the uh, special offers are. So I would say that is uh, something that you can improve on. Okay. Okay, so these links are going to a different place. That's good. Right. Uh, moving on. I'm just looking at these colors here. Uh, and I'm not sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But it doesn't look like you have a color palette because I don't think these two colors work well together. And, and I'm just taking this. I'm just taking this as a wild guess. So, uh, if you have a color palette, good. But uh, just make sure that you have colors that work well together. So I may be wrong if you don't have a. I mean, if you are using a color palette, but that's something that I would look into. And here, let's see. Subscribe to receive special offers. Again, what you've done here is this would look better if it was in a section going you know, across and, and this is good here because you've stated why uh, they should get this, uh, what they would do, what they would get when they uh, sign up, which is brilliant. Now these social media icons, I would get rid of them because it's too many things you're asking the visitor to do. So you're asking them to subscribe and then you want them to follow on the social media. So it's a bit too much. The social media, we have it here on the top. We can also have it on the bottom of the page or even uh, use a the Divi, the Elegant Themes plugin, where you can have the social media icons on the left. So you just want to make sure that the message that you have is just for that part, and that would make it much, much better. I've spoken about this already. This looks really nice. Um, that's fine. Okay, arrange an appointment by email. Again, this color here is not working. I would actually uh, take a look at the colors from... Uh, from um, the color palettes that DV uh, auto generates and choose a color to go with this background. But as I mentioned, you want to say happy color there, like an orangey color, because that works with the blue. So that is very, very important. Okay. Um, I know that's a lot <laughs> to talk about on the main page, but those little tweaks, uh, I believe, will uh, make this, pay, uh, this page look much, much, uh, much, much better. Okay, so I'm just going to take a look here at um, some comments and see if we have anything. Uh, Mark Murphy says the slider height is set wrong too. The text crashes with the navigation dots. Yes, thanks, Mark. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think I mentioned that as well. We need to see more of the images that we have on the slider. Uh, well pointed, uh, Mark. Thank you very much for that. Yes, so every time you have a slider, make sure you're showing most, I mean, more of the image um, because that's what you're trying to sell or trying to communicate. Great. Um, Ratapula, I will take a look at um, what you've posted. So just bear with me. Right, uh, enemy, 
uh, says, who is the best free hosting site, I think? I'm the blogger and my per day views is 10,000 views. Please tell me who is best free hosting site. Right. Now, you know what? I don't know why you'd want to go for a free hosting site because if you're getting 10,000 views per day, that's, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't even get that amount of views per day for Div University. You are doing well, whatever you're doing on your website. So you want to make sure you have all these views on your own website because every time you go for a free web hosting uh, site, they own that domain because these free hosting sites, like for example, if you go with WordPress, you would have uh, your website as enemy.wordpress.com and they, those are free. So there is no, I mean, you, to be honest with you, I'm actually shocked that you have that amount of traffic and you want to go for a free hosting. Hosting is very, very affordable now. I mean, at two pounds, I mean, two dollars or two dollars fifty per month, you can have hosting. In fact, I have a link in the comments box for uh, InMotion hosting. There's also a 57% discount. You can get fantastic hosting for, um, for your website. And with those 10,000 uh, views uh, per day, I'm sure you can do something on that, may, whether it's uh, adding an advert on there, and you, can, and you can pay for your own hosting with that amount of traffic. So that's what, ex that's what I would do right now. You know, Get yourself your own hosting, set up your own WordPress website, or move your website or redirect it to your own domain. So you want to have your own domain and your own hosting. I don't recommend these free hosting platforms because you don't own any, um, any um, uh, of the good stuff that comes with it. Like, for example, uh, that domain that you have is uh, not, I don't think it's your, your own domain. Like, what I mean by that is, let's say it's anime.com, right? It's got to be with a subdomain. And sometimes when you go for free hosting, they are going to put ads on your website in return for the free hosting. So I would say own everything. You want to make sure that you own everything, okay? Get your own web hosting account, get your own domain name, and continue getting your own traffic on your own website and start monetizing it. That is very, very important. Okay. Um, uh, Russell says mixed content on eight images prevent side showing SSL. Right. I need to take a look at that as well because that is very, very important. Um, okay. So let's continue here. Right. So now let's take a look at the about page. So over here on the about page, again, as I mentioned, um, this image here is very cold. Make sure that these images are vibrant and, um, and warm because that's more welcoming and friendly, especially for um, dental practice. Okay, and I would even have this uh, covering the whole section and then have this text here as a caption of the actual image and then the text can just follow on below. Okay, I've spoken, uh, spoken about this already. I've spoken about that already. And uh, over here, this is fine. Okay, that's brilliant. But again, I would separate this because you can see here we have too much white going on. So you need to separate your, te your, your sections with a color to just distinguish this and make it easier you know, for the reader to read content on your page, especially like this part here, which says meet the dentist. So now we know that this information here is different from uh, this welcome message. So that needs to be separated. And now this subscribe does not need to be on all pages. To be honest, I would even have that as uh, something that comes up on your site when someone is leaving. It's called an exit, uh, exit pop-up. I would actually have that because you can create this using Monarch because it looks like it's just in the way here. 
Okay, um... Okay, this area is fine. Now here, because I use a lot of uh, images from uh, free images online, I can tell straight away, I'm not sure about this third one here, but I know for a fact that these two images are from uh, royalty-free websites. And this is, again, something that you may, you may want to uh, move away from, especially if you're running a professional business like this. Uh, because when you use these images and someone picks up that they were used somewhere else, this can take away credibility. So I would use my own image in, in this case. And also just taking a look at this, there are different sizes as well. So you want to make sure that when you use your images, they are the same size. Okay. Other than that, I think um, some of these things I've already covered. Let's move on to the special offers. Okay, I like what is happening here. This is brilliant. Uh, the collage of the images, that's brilliant. It's different. It's nice. I like that. And also this before and after, I think that is good. Um, the only thing is I don't see the call to actions on this. Because I would have expected to see, uh, let's say for uh, the smile makeover consultation, click here. And then I click on the button, and then I go to the page where I need to uh, make, um, uh, to, to book. So in this case here, I don't see that. So you may want to add call to actions here. Yes, so you want to add call to actions there. Okay, and here it says, please get in touch for more details, or call now on that number. Okay, that's brilliant. And again, this image here, uh, uh, you can just make it, you know, fill the whole uh, width of your page as a section and then add these inside and just make it take away that uh, blue cast that it has. And that's all you can do. And this 0% finance plans, again, I would have that as a full section. And again, your image here looks like she's floating or she's, it just doesn't look, you know, right. So I would just use an image that just, uh, large image and then add your text in whatever color if the image is dark find a spot where you can add um, the text in white if the image is a bit uh, dark then you can have your text as white so that would uh, work in this case okay so I've spoken about everything else let's take a look here at the charges and the treatments okay um, what I would have done here is right what I would have done here is I could uh, do like a pricing table where you'd have band one band two and band three band three so as like uh, those columns as, as pricing tables that would look much better because right now there's just way too much to read okay so um, laying out your uh, content that way makes it easier easier on the eye and it also makes it easier to read. So that's what I would do in this case. Uh, on the bottom here, yeah, this seems okay. But just add a bit more space so it's easier to read. Line height, I mean. Okay. And finally, let's go to the uh, emergencies and contact. Right, again, here I would actually have a form, uh, maybe have this section here with a form and also a map because this is an emergency. People want to take a look quickly where ACOX Green is and um, on the map. And over here, you want to have, you know, your phone number, your form, so someone can just quickly fill in that information without scrolling all the way down to the bottom here. So I would prioritize that information and make it, you know, here. And then also add your opening hours or even if leave the uh, normal opening hours as they are right there. So pretty much I would say um, this was a uh, very good, uh, very good attempt, very good effort. Uh, the website does what it says on the tin. It's just those few things that need to be um, 
adjusted just to make it much better. And again, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, um, uh, I mean, in fact, what I'm trying to do here is to uh, give tips that make this work. I've, I know I've mentioned this before. Um, I'm not trying to do these critiques, you know, to really take away all your efforts, but um, I'm just trying to add more value to what you've started. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm just coming from a place where I'm just trying to help. So don't take uh, the critique too personal. It's a matter of just trying to um, uh, make the designs look better. But overall, I really like this and um, just make those uh, few improvements and uh, let, me know, uh, let me know what uh, if you've done those changes so I can take a look at it again. Uh, right, okay. Um, let's take a look at the comments. Uh, Monique says, is there any alt tag for the images just in case they don't load for some reason? Now, I can't tell if there's an alt tag, but that is something, uh, before I move on to the next website, uh, which is important, uh, as Monique has mentioned here, when you add images onto your um, website, make sure you add alt tags because it's important uh, for accessibility as well, not just, if, uh, just in case the image doesn't load, but for accessibility as well. It's important to uh, add in there to just make people know what that image is as they are, you know, using you know, your website. So that's a very good point. Thank you very much for that. Sladoki, I think, says, can I show you my website? There's a link, uh, Sladoki. It's in uh, the, dis uh, the description <laughs> notes below. There's a link there to submit your website for review. So if you do it that way, it makes it easier for me to manage. So please use that link, submit your website that way, and uh, I will be uh, uh, reviewing your website soon. Uh, Russell says, I think they have designed the site with mobile viewers in mind as the site looks better on mobile. Oh, right. That's a very good point, Russell. So those uh, sliders that we are seeing, maybe, in fact, uh, if you can just be patient with me, I just want to take a look at the site on a mobile device and see what it looks like. That's a very good point, actually. So let's take a look here. And this is also very important because uh, majority of people now are actually accessing the internet via mobile devices. So it's good to make sure that your website is both um, good, uh, look, uh, it both looks good for uh, on um, all devices. Okay, so it's village, dental surgery. Okay, um, .co .uk. yes, it's this one right here. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for uh, pointing that out. The site looks really, uh, really good on mobile devices. So that's a thumbs up for, for that. But uh, just make sure that uh, all these different views are optimized. So it looks good on laptops or desktops. It also looks on tab good on tablets and also mobile devices. So... Uh, thanks a lot for your submission. Appreciate it. But yes, that's the case. Um, Adam says, do you know of any good plugins that integrate uh, Instagram onto your website? Um, not really, unless, I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, if you can expand on that, do you just want people to... Uh, um, to click like an icon for Instagram from your, uh, on your website or do you want to pull the feed from Instagram onto your website? So if you can just let me know what you mean by that. But if you just want people to uh, be able to see an icon where they can click and follow you, there is a social follow module 
in Divi that you can use, and it also has Instagram, so you can use that one. Okay, let's move on to the next website. And um, the next website is submitted by Rene. I think I'm uh, pronouncing it well. Right. Um, and this website is called Keys to Bali. Okay, so let me show you the website. And wow. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Wow. I really like um, the, um, the simplicity. It's clean. Uh, it's well thought of. I really like, you know, what the page, I mean, how the page looks here. And um, on the top here, right here on the top. In fact, let's start with the navigation. <laughs> the logo, brilliant. It's not uh, pixelated. Um, I can't take away, you know, much from it. It's easy to read. Beautiful. Uh, what I will do here is I would actually make the logo slightly smaller just to give it a bit of breathing space. So that's what I would do with the logo. Otherwise, it's perfect. Okay. Navigation, brilliant. Okay. Now, moving on. Over here, I would actually have an image of the villas. I mean, this is an opportunity now because now I know it's keys to Bali. So and you say and you say here stay in the finest bali villas why not have a picture of uh the villas here as the main image that will be really really awesome because this image here does not does i mean doesn't have anything to do with bali as far as i'm concerned it could be maybe it was taken there but it's just water right i mean this could be this could look much much better with the uh the image of a villa right there. So that's the first thing I would do straight away. Other than that, I really like what is happening here. This website is clean. Uh, here we have book quality, um, book. Let's take a look here. Where does this take us? Okay. Okay. Uh, quality of videos. Okay. Now these three, uh, boxes right here, Again, I would actually add some a, a color, maybe a color from your logo here. You know, I would use that. It looks like it's an orange. I would use that here just to add a bit more color to it. Okay, because these grays, they're a bit dull. You know, when you use color, especially for things like holiday or things with a happy connotation to it, it's always good to use your, your yellows, uh, your oranges, you know, your reds because that just makes it more vibrant and more exciting. So that's what you want to use, what you want to add here. So I would use, I would add a color that goes with this. And also, uh, why not just add an icon? So where it says book, quality, villas, I would just use an icon just on the top there, just to, uh, you know, just give it a bit more, uh, add a bit more design element to it, you know? Not to say that what you have here is bad, but I would say I would just add that as well. Um, I also like the way you've used your fonts because there's a lot of consistency here, which is brilliant. Um, here are July 2018 featured properties. Okay, brilliant. If I click on that, okay, so this takes us to the property. Nice, that's brilliant. You see, now this is what I'm talking about. If this was the one of the images that you had here, right, that would really look nice. I mean, look how beautiful this image is, right? So that's what I would do. This is brilliant, okay? Um, moving on, I like also the way uh, you've done these icons here. This, that's very nice, beautiful. And let's take a look here at the testimonials again. The testimonial area is brilliant. It's nice. I like it. The only thing I would do here is maybe change this background color, remove the light gray, and maybe even use an orange just to bring more vibrance to this. But other than that, I like the way you did the testimonials. It's good. And uh, collections. We've got family, group holidays. Okay, that looks nice. 
and the subscribe. Brilliant. Now, I like this. I really, I really, really like this. Okay, now let's go to the Villa Collection and let's take a look at this. Now, before I move on to the next um, page, let me just take a look and uh, see if anyone agrees with uh, what I'm saying here. Now, what do you guys think about uh, the website that I'm reviewing now, which is submitted by Rene, the keys to Bali? Okay, let's just go back over here. Right, okay, so I'm back to the page. So over here, we can see this is the keys, uh, the keys to Bali uh, villas. I think this is fantastic because the image now is really, oh, this is beautiful. Yep, I like this. And also, um, what is also happening here is the utilization of the full width, in this case, absolutely works because it's not just the images that are on the page. It also has the search feature here, which helps search for these villas. So you can use the slider here like that. And then this uh, refreshes and shows, you know, the villas, which I think is brilliant. So this page is, uh, if I were to give it a score, I would just give it a 100 out of 100. Fantastic page. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Welcome to Bali. Okay. Um, nice. I like it. But what I would even do... To, uh, to add to what you've done here is I would even have a video which has slides of Bali. It doesn't have to be something that you go out and film or you go out and shoot. It can just be images that are uh, like an image, you know, slide where it's just uh, after every two or three seconds, it's just changing the image and you can have a soundtrack in the background that goes with it. Uh, even something that is from Bali itself, like the type of music or some sort of soundtrack from Bali or from Indonesia. So that's what I would do. Have a nice video there that's just, you know, playing the slide. And then over here, if people want to go in and um, read more about it, then they can always go in and read. But uh, I'll just add that as well if, um, if you have the time. Otherwise, the page is brilliant. Okay. Our team... I like the use of images here on each and every page. That is brilliant. Well done. So we have the overview here. Uh, meet Rene. Good. Nice. And these type of images here, they work because you're sort of like opening up. You're not like being too corporate. You know, you're just being authentic. And I like the way it's taken. You haven't gone out to take a professional photographer to take your picture. Because you don't want to make it too professional, and at the same time, you don't want to make make it too amateurish. So you've struck the um, the right spot there, where it's both you know believable and you know it's uh, it communicates you know authenticity. So that is a that you know that is really good. Well done. Uh, on this image here, I would I would show more of the people. You've really cut out this guy again. That's the uh, that's the main thing I would say you need to fix right away. You don't want to have an image where, you know, someone is cut into half, you know, it doesn't really work. So I would go in, get an image that really, you know, shows <clears throat> the team and without, you know, cutting anyone. If you want to have the two guys in there, you know, do it that way. But don't cut anyone in half like that as you've done in this image. So that's what I would fix straight away. This is perfect. Uh, this image here, because it's focusing on the food. Now, what I would do is to go even a step further is I would add a slider over here so you can show more of the food and more of the kitchen. So the one image here is good, but make it better by adding a slider or even a gallery where people can see more of the food and more of the environment, the kitchen and stuff. 
Okay, this is good. Yep, I like this. Move on to the next one. List with us. Yeah, again, this works perfect. It does the job. Again, you've used an image here, uh, which goes with um, with your um, with your theme. Great, and then you've also got the bookings here. Then you can go ahead and book. Nice, really nice. <laughs> right, so oh, what has happened here? Did Renee just change that uh, that background so fast while I was doing the review? Because <laughs> I've just come to the page. And what I was suggesting her to do is all changed. Now we have a video. Wow. Renee, if you just changed this while I was doing the, uh, the review, <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. Wow. I like this. Beautiful, beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, I'm just going to test something very quickly. I want to see how this would look on a mobile device. Beautiful. Okay. So this works on a mobile device as well. And uh, I notice here that we have a video actually. So these things that I was suggesting, there is actually a video in there. And this website even looks better. No, I wouldn't say better, but it looks really, really nice on a mobile device, as you can see. And the video here, this beautiful Bali, uh, this is the video that I would add onto that page that I was suggesting. Can't remember what page it was. I think it was the uh, Welcome to Bali. Yeah, I would have that video here on this page. Okay, so that's exactly what I would do. So you have all the elements that I was um, that I was suggesting. So I would definitely go ahead and do that. But other than that, in fact, let me go back to this page again. I'm really surprised that there's a video now because earlier on, all we had was the picture of uh, um, the ocean or the water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, Renee, you've done a very good job on your website. I mean, there's very little things I can critique on that. But overall, fantastic job. And I think our audience here will agree with me. Uh, in fact, um, what do you guys think about this website, uh, Keys to Bali? I just, I'm, I, I'm interested to, uh, to know uh, if, uh, I mean, what you think about uh, the website. So just, you know, add a quick comment in the comments box. I'm interested to hear. Okay, so let's move on to our last website. Right, we also have some feedback here from Monique. She says the homepage on the top is stunning, subtle, very classy. I absolutely agree. So it's good uh, that, um, uh, that you see it that way because <laughs> I don't want this to be just my view. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. Uh, Mark Murphy says a video changes the look and feel so much, uh, so much for the better. Yes, Mark, thank you very much for your feedback. I think uh, that is um, true. I agree with you. It just changes everything. So you see, when I talk about uh, these subtle changes that you need to make to your website, these little changes make a massive difference. So I know sometimes I may be going on and on and on about a, a page uh, design. But you can see how from uh, the page that I, uh, that I saw when I first went to the website, which had the, uh, the water, to having that video in the background, it just changes everything by, I would say, by, by 100%, you know? Changes the mood. It just changes everything. In fact, it makes me feel like I want to visit that place. And that's how, these, uh, how, that's how the website is supposed to communicate. So I agree with that as well. Uh, Russell says, missing a fun feel. Right, I haven't looked at the, uh, the video uh, of, um, I think, the visit of Bali. 
perhaps maybe there could be something in there, but I agree with you. This is something that we could also add to this to make it even more fun because this is a villa. This is like a holiday that you want to visit. So have people having fun and all of that. I agree with you 100%, uh, Russell. So this is uh, something that, um, Renee, if you are listening, you may want to add to that. So to your videos, it's showing really the environment and the fun factor as well uh, to what you've done so far. So I agree with uh, Russell there. Great. Okay. Um, right. So let's move on to our... Oh, <laughs> you know what? Let me just show you this quickly. There is a fun factor to this. Take a look at that. Hey, guys, is it just me or Renee is making updates <laughs> to this website as I'm speaking? <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure this wasn't there. Wow. Right. <laughs> so if these changes are being done in real time, if these changes are being done in real time, <laughs> she's doing a very good job of, uh, of doing the updates while I'm doing the, uh, the review. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> uh, Russell says, I want to go. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, okay, let's move on to the next website. Um, right. So our next website now is Mark 88. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so. Oh, I'm on the team page. Sorry about that. All right, we build schools. I like that. Nice, simple message, okay? So this company here, Mark88, builds schools. Wow. I like the video as well. It's good. Let's see. The vision, okay, that's good. Population projection, yeah, good information. I like this. So far, so good. Very good. I like the stats. Um, right here, impacting education around India, I would have a section that is big enough to show uh, what's in the image, okay? And, th and then just leave your uh, impacting education around India as your caption for that, in for that image. Because right now, you've cut out everything. It's like you're, re you're, you're not showing us everything that we need to see. So let us see that image and also have your, um, your caption that goes with that. So the image needs to work well with the caption. So what you've done here is it's not very clear what this is. So I, that's what I would do on this page. Hmm, I like that. Good. I like this. Brilliant. Use of colors. Again, I can see here that we have a color palette going on. I like that. Very good. Um, guys, what do you think about this homepage? Do you think that there's uh, anything apart of uh, apart from uh, what I mentioned about the uh, about this section? I think this web uh, this page is well put together. Definitely. Okay. Uh, Russell says, uh, larger image with parallax scroll. I agree, absolutely. Uh, the parallel scroll is uh, very, very important there. Uh, Russell uh, also says, love it. I know what they do. Refreshing. Mon uh, Monique also says, I like it. Great. So this is good. 
So I'm, I'm sure that as we're going through these websites, you can actually see what I mean uh, or, or what I suggest on these pages. And, I, and I'm glad that we're all on the same page with this. Because when something is well put together, you know, it, it just looks brilliant. It just works. So that main page is fantastic. Okay? Let's move on. So uh, let's take a look here. Now let's move on to the team page. Right. Now here... The use of color doesn't really work. I would actually have an image in the background. There's no need to have it faded and then have a gradient that way. I think there's, if you look at the main page and then this page, it's like the websites are totally different, right? That's the vibe I'm getting from this. So this needs to be changed. I would have your core team in there in the background and not have uh, this color uh, gradient going on. It's not, it doesn't really look, um, it doesn't really work. And then over here on the advisory board, something's going on with your text here. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it now. But you just need to make sure it's aligned left. Don't um, make it feel uh, that... I've gone blank now. Uh, I wish I could go in and uh, explain the right terminology for this. So uh, what has happened here is... Uh, let's say you have a rectangle. So when you have text in a rectangle and you're trying to make it fit to go to the, you know, to the edges, I forgot the term for it. But in this case, it's not working well because you've got too many spaces in the text. It's not natural. It doesn't work. It, this works in newspapers. Okay, when you uh, if you read a newspaper, you may find this. Uh, that's where this is used. Um, I forgot. I'm forgetting the term now. This is so bad. Ah. Anyway, if it comes, I'll explain what it is. But in this case, in, uh, in web design, it, it doesn't really work. Here, it's not working at all. So I would keep this text normal, aligned left, because that's what we're used to reading, especially in the English language. Keep it aligned left, and uh, let's keep it simple. Okay? Um, and also here, I would also add the, 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 uh, the thumbnails of these people, right? Just having the, uh, the name there, for a company that does such a great job of building schools, I'm sure uh, people would, uh, the advisory board would not mind to have their pictures there, you know? So I would add a picture that goes with these names as well, okay? And on the top here, you don't have to have that border on the top, to be honest. You can do away with that and then just have that going into the negative space, you know, with a solid line color. You don't need to have this uh, border, top border line at all. Okay, and uh, moving on, this is great, investment team, that's fine, uh, but on this investment team, oh, okay, I was going to say, why not have the name for, uh, uh, of these uh, investors, okay? So I've just noticed that when I mouse over this area here, it has a really nice animation going on, so this is brilliant, okay? And moving on, I like this graphic as well, that's nice. Now, what you've done here, your text, I would increase the text size because this is a bit too small, to be honest. Increase the text size. Other than that, it's okay. And also, I would um, maybe separate these because they look like these all one block. So you've separated this using a line, this orange line. I would uh, actually leave, you know, like some, some uh, margins so that these people are standalones, you know, on on this page. Okay, let's go to in the news. All right, looks like this link doesn't work. So again, that's something that I'll fix. I can see here in the URL that link doesn't work. So that's something that I would fix uh, because you don't want to have a website, especially a corporate website like this, with uh, missing links. It just makes it... Um, um, Less trustworthy, if, if um, or less professional. Let me put it that way. So over here on careers, let's see. Join the team. Brilliant. You see, like how this image was used. Fantastic. It works. And you got some parallax as well. And your navigation is working, so that's good. And then over here, I like this. The way you've done uh, these blurbs, that's good. And you also have the button to apply. Yes, great. 
Brilliant. I like this. So I guess if I click here on apply, this should take me to, hang on, where is that taking me to? Right, so it's just taking me, it's like an anchor then, okay? Uh, I would have expected maybe when you see the word apply, it normally takes you to an application form. So that's what I was expecting. Maybe this is by design, I don't know. But um, the way it looks now is fine. But uh, like I said, I would have, uh, I would have expected to see a, um, a form. Right, so let's go on to the contact page. Hmm, this is strange. The contact page is not working. It's, it's, um, it's linking to the footer. So there's an anchor link to the footer. So this is not working. You need a form. For, or a specific page for your contact page, which has a form, it has a map, if you need a map, it's a phone number, you know, all the basic contact information uh, stuff. So this page definitely is not working. So you need to make sure that that is fixed. So that's just an anchor, but it's not really going anywhere, okay? So it looks like this website is not completely uh, designed. So I would um, work more on that and just finish off the design. But so far, I mean, it's off on a very good start. And um, I would just go in and uh, just make sure that um, those pages are linking to the right places. But right now, it is not. Okay? So you have missing links. And these here, I'm sure they need to be linking. In fact, they don't have any links. They don't link anywhere. Right? See? I'm clicking on them. They're not going anywhere. So I would expect to see this go to like the Edu Finance, maybe a bit, of, a bit more information about it, and also a uh, application form of some sort because it's about applying for the positions. So those are the things that I can say about this website. Okay, so it looks very uh, incomplete. So I would go ahead and fix that. Right, so um, this episode is brought to you by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. All right, so uh, I know this has been a while since we've been on this live show, uh, and I'd like to uh, thank you very much for, um, for staying uh, here with me. In fact, before I uh, finalize this, Yes, uh, Fifi says, full justified you mean. That's what I mean, Just, uh, justified. Um, that's what I mean. Thank you very much for, uh, for that. <laughs> and Mark Murphy also says, not a, not a fan of full justified content. Yes, um, that's true. So that's, that's what I meant. So um, thank you very much for, um, for reminding me. And also Nigel, uh, Nigel Rogers has just joined as well. Uh, saying justified. Yes, thank you very much, guys. The word just <laughs> escaped my mind while I was doing the review. So uh, thank you very much for that. Right. Um, uh, Monique also says, could you put uh, the profile people in columns instead of vertical? Yes, I agree with that, uh, Monique. I think having, um, having them in columns is much better. Um, Because the vertical, it doesn't, it doesn't just read well. So, yes, well pointed out there. Um, I think it's Jacek, I think, uh, has a question here saying, I see your site are using Astro theme. I'm uh, curious what you're thinking about it and why you do use it instead of Divi. Okay, uh, in fact, let me uh, clarify uh, what is going on here. Um, a few, I think it was two weeks ago, Divi uh, released uh, custom post types. Uh, this now uh, gave us the ability to use um, LearnDash uh, or any plugin that has custom, uh, that comes in with its own content like LearnDash, 
uh, WooCommerce, and so on. So when I created Divi University, Divi theme did not support custom post types. So I had to use a plugin called Divi Booster. So that plugin had a lot of uh, issues with my other plugins that I was using on the website. So my workaround on that was to use the Astra theme and then use the Divi Builder. So that actually worked. So using the Astra theme and the Divi Builder actually worked. Now, it's purely because Divi was not uh, compatible, uh, we did not have the option to have custom post apps because uh, Divi University is a, um, is a website, a learning management uh, platform. So that LearnDash uh, plugin could not work with the Divi theme. But now it's working because we just had an update two weeks ago. So that's the reason why things are they are. So if I get some time, what I will do is I'll have to redesign the website and have the website fully uh, work on Divi. But of course, you know, it takes a lot of, you know, it takes time to, uh, to put this together. That's why I haven't done it yet because the, re uh, the uh, release was just a few weeks ago or two weeks ago, I mean, to be more precise. So that is the reason. It doesn't mean that something is wrong with Divi at all, but uh, it means that sometimes you have plugins or you have um, workarounds, but that was the main reason why that was the case. So, Jacek, I think, uh, uh, Jacek, I think that is the main reason why. Okay. All right. Um, I would like to uh, thank everyone for uh, joining me today. I uh, really, really appreciate it. And uh, again, I'm really sorry about uh, Saturday. Uh, I just had to attend to a, an emergency. So, I really had to go. But uh, I was you know, ready. Everything was all set for the live show. So, uh, really sorry about that. And also, if you want to take your design level, uh, your design skills to the next level, I have the DV Mastery course. Uh, it has a 50% discount. Uh, the link is in the description below. If you use DV50 uh, at checkout, you will get a 50% discount on that course. So the course pretty much covers the principles that we are talking about as I review the website. So it shows you all that kind of stuff. And also, if you want to submit your website for review, the link again is in the show notes below. Just uh, add uh, your website in that and I will add it to the list of the sites I need to review. So thanks a lot, everyone, for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. So see you again on Saturday. Hopefully <laughs> there won't be any emergencies and uh, the show will be uh, you know, smooth. So thank you very much, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.